Gang, Christmas came early this year because the Are You Garbage special is on YouTube right now. Yeah, guys, go share with your friends. Hit them up in the group chat. Tell people who aren't familiar with the show. This is a perfect way to introduce them. Check it out. It's a good time. A lot of laughs. Thanks for watching. Love you. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of shit. Oh, I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here at Antony's basement. Mm-hmm. She wanted to remind everybody she still has Vax cards and boosters available for sale on her website. <laughs> Tony.org. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. It's a family episode. Just the boys in here. The boys, the bozos, and the homies. He is uh, the CEO. Of all you garbage, thus far he has led us to the promised land. <laughs> Every base like Napoleon. Every <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna maroon you on an island when I'm done with you, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for KJ. Did not like that comment. I could tell. No, no, no. I no, no, no issue with it. What's <laughs> up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. But as you know, those numbers are turn the roof. Uh, and then obviously Patreon.com. Shout out to all the fucking homies on there. You can sign up. You get bonus episodes, AYG, hard feelings, the fucking live streams, the whole nine yards. But you know that. Yeah. Check it out over there. That's fucking cooking. What about the... The what? Uh, what's a... Well, when you go out to dinner, do you order the special? That's ah! what I was going to say. Let me hear the special. <laughs> Run them back. What's for the appetizer? I ain't talking about the marsala either. I yeah. can tell you that. You can save the soup because we got a special. That's right, Cam. We got the special on the YouTube page up streaming. Get on there. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube page, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh-huh. Share that puppy as much as you can. Someone we get it on Reddit. Appreciate Red- everybody. Someone, sent- someone get it on Reddit. I want that front page of Reddit or something. Yeah. All you guys Redditors go. out there. Hackers doing yeah. their thing. Get in the back. There you go. Hacking into the... I was Mine's gonna... some Bitcoin. I don't know what you got to do. <laughs> do something. Litecoin. <laughs> I'm a Litecoin man. Everybody knows that. And speaking of the special, all right, the mastermind of the Are You Garbage <laughs> special, give it up for T-Bone McScruffins, Tommy, Toby McBuggins. <laughs> what up, dude? What up, T-Bone? Dude, nothing. That thing's out now. I'm a sunglasses inside guy. Yeah. I'm going to get a convertible. I can't legally drive. This is like your opus, this special. A lot, a lot of years, a lot of thought. I've been wanting to make something like this for a long time. No, this is the indie that Toby does that gets a lot of attention. Then before, he, he re- before he really lays a stinker on us. <laughs> yeah. The, a Hollywood big budget stinker room. You're going you're gonna to get Transformers 6 and fucking launch yeah. it. I will say I learned a lot in that edit. I can't wait to get back out on the road running back. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. We mm-hmm. love it. Um, family episode. We're here today, as Pam you know. Ep. You sign up for the old Patreon. You, uh, you get your questions right on the air. Sure do. I had a piece of business I, I wanted to. I got a little bit of something I want to get into, too. This is light. I wanted to run this Let's by keep it you. Light. A buddy of mine, <laughs> me. buddy of ours, <laughs> friend of ours. I don't want to say who it is. I don't know what his uh, relationship status is now. Oh, boy. But was telling me mm-hmm. um, a week or two ago sure. something about exes. Something about exes came up. Like, do you talk to your exes? They anything, live in Texas. Anything like that? Yes. That deserved um. better. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> okay. I see um. how we're starting. <laughs> he was saying huh? that they have to keep somewhat of a decent relationship, a friendly relationship, okay. because they share a phone plan. Oh. Now, is there, I know you don't have this. Maybe you do or did or whatever. Did you, you ever get tired? Sure up? don't. <laughs> I didn't mean, stop it. Those automatic payments stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's insane to me. It's like, uh, you know what? You're too poor to break up. I don't understand it. Well, it's, I understand. How much money do you save? What's happening? I understand the comfortability of it. Like, you get into those things, you don't feel like changing that shit. Oh, dude, I was with. Because I had a fucking panic. I've been, dude, I've been with this company so long. When I started out, it was voice stream. <laughs> really? I was voice stream that I think 
somebody got a hold of them, T Mobes maybe, and then I was a sprint man for Op, dude. Sprint's a tough look. Dude, they're passing me around like a loose joint in sprint, jail. Sprint's a bad soda. <laughs> <laughs> well, T Mobile just bought Sprint. I don't know. I got booted. I was with a family. I was with a company plan when I was working for the when I was working for the mm. outfit. When I was working for the family. Then things went a little south, and I got booted too sweet off that Have thing. Have to change your number? The hangover wasn't even off yet, and I was off that <laughs> fucking plan. The ad builder hadn't even kicked in, well, and I was off the plan. Lippy at the office barbecue, huh? <laughs> That holiday party ended bad. Did badly. you have to change your number? Had to change my number, which dude, was if I, nice. If I had to change my number now, I'm going all the way. I'm going new identity. Uh, yeah. I'm, it I'm was it was a nice to Seattle bleaching my hair. It was a nice good to take up surfing. <laughs> it was a nice fresh start of like I'm le- I need I was walking away from a lot of skeletons. No. Yeah. You only change your number when you get out of rehab. That's the only reason <laughs> you change your number. You That's get out. You keep it. <laughs> you don't want this is the old haunts. Win it. I say that. However, and the reason I'm sympathetic to it is because um, you're on your pa- you're on a- you're on your parents' plan. You I'm would- not on my. P- we-, we share a family plan. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's who. Uh, what? Whose name is it? It's not in your name. No, it's not. Yeah, is I'm it- I'm a I'm a registered user though. Yeah, yeah. I have I to could, be. I could call- you had to be to get nights and weekends. <laughs> He's got to walk around the neighborhood and tell everyone that, that he just <laughs> moved in. <laughs> hey guys, I'm. Hey guys, I'm uh, I'm on a family plan. Just want to let you know. I gotta go legally. I have to go door to door. <laughs> Tell you guys that I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> Let you know I'm a bozo. So if you have any old cell phones or anything around the house, <laughs> that anything in a junk drawer, <laughs> <laughs> dude, you go to my mom's house. It's like a graveyard for flip phones. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like a Radio Shack in that place. <laughs> like she's moving H. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> all burners. You dude. There's like not. First of all, my mom's house is turning into like one big junk. It's just like it's silverware, and then the rest are junk drawers and Tupperware. They're, they're multiplying. It's all just old rubber bands and stuff. <laughs> Thread that'll never get used. I say that with sympathetic ears because I'm involved in a family plan when are with you some associates. Go- <laughs> when are you going to get out of that? Uh, I think I'm doing it uh, <laughs> fucking never, you fucking moron. Don't- what are you, nuts? It's fucking comforting in there. That's our, my family. What do you mean? It's a support you system. Just have, you just know, have your mommy's taking care of you. <laughs> That's how you like it. Mama. Yeah. She handles this the guy's paperwork. Fucked up. I assume it's so. She handles point. the paperwork, i.e., she pays the bill at the end of the month. I assume it's, it's not on your credit card. I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's not getting taken out of yours. Capital One wouldn't have it. Yeah. Um, I I assume at some point, or my plan is at some point that Patty will come. Will eventually be working for the organization. Uh, not who? not ours. Me, my my own entity. Okay. She'll be one of my people. <laughs> she handles shit, man. She gets stains out like <laughs> Dickens. She's had, she's had a paranoia. <laughs> <laughs> Chief anxiety officer. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm on the board of crazy, actually. <laughs> no, I see her. I see her taking over like a Chris Jenner role at some point. I'm <laughs> getting you in a sex tape. <laughs> hey, you want a black guy? Ma, why do you keep giving me beers? <laughs> Wine for breakfast? All right. You want an R&B singer? Oh, that's fucking beautiful. <laughs> no, I eventually, you know, like to to bring her into the fold. Doing what? Down the road? I don't know. Handling some things? Well, yeah, I, I know. Booking I, flights, hotels, like, like a personal assistant. She's you, good with all that shit. You know how rappers will like buy their mom a house? Yeah. Foley's version of that is going to be an IG story of like, thanks for all the love. You know, I just got off my mom's family plan. Yeah. <laughs> I, she's working I'm, for I'm me gonna now. Her, I'm going to get her a trailer office at some construction site. Yeah. <laughs> get her a gang box. <laughs> Got my mom in a we work like a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't you don't let her and your dad unionize. <laughs> Send in a union buster. She's asking for paid overtime. Ah oh, man. You would be horrible to work for. What do you mean? I don't know how else to say it. I was, I was pretty blunt with that. What do you mean, T Bone? How, how am I? <laughs> if, you th- if you think I work for you, you're nuts. <laughs> I don't even got the YouTube's password. <laughs> I'm not even sure you know where you are right now. 
Oh, man. <laughs> That's why I need my mom. Fucking middleman this. Who's going to pay the bills? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, if she, if she knew anything about technology, she'd be all right. That's the only problem. We'd both be fuddling around with the phones in the dark. Yeah, both getting locked out of accounts and stuff. <laughs> Dude, Is it my birthday or your birthday? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, had, I went through that this weekend because my phone was fucking getting cute on me. Mm-hmm. thought I was going to have to pull the trigger. I was going to get... Though you can't get these iPhone 13s anymore. These kids are all over them. Okay. You can't get them. Mm-hmm. But they do have the Maxes. Remember remember the, the Pluses for a little while? They were the bigger versions of the phones? Yeah. I guess they have a version of that for the for the 13. Anybody who had those, that was always a bozo move. Uh, I, I forgot. You're walking around with a fucking tablet in your hand. Yeah, how do you dial that thing? 212. Uh, <laughs> who did that? <laughs> that was a buddy of mine did that. <laughs> I mean, you remember those? You, you remember That's when you—that's a pretty good bit. Might yeah, cut that. <laughs> yeah, when you get got, I showed up to like a hang in college, like high school or something. I had a big, it was like a, I had a big phone. It was like when big phones like just came out. If it's not an iPhone, you're. In it trouble. was. It was big Android. Oh. Had a kickstand on it. Do you remember that thing? <laughs> <laughs> they gave you that for free. That, that came with the plan. Yeah, it was a pull start too. <laughs> kind of gas that thing take. A uh, two stroke. <laughs> now nah, my phone's out. The mix is all fucked up. <laughs> Anybody got a generator? My juice is dead. I use regular gaze. <laughs> give me, sh- give, give me shoveling coal into the back of the phone. <laughs> I'm on a stationary bike. Like the Polar Express. Hold on, I gotta text my girl. <laughs> oh uh, shit! Yeah, that thing stunk. I told you I got hemmed up a couple of times. That Android, they got me with the kickstand. Well, you could put it up and you could watch it. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not bragging. I'm like, you know, I'm letting like, you know the functionality of the product. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Video it loads by next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was quick. It was the when Android came out and was faster than the iPhone at the time. Like the whatever. I don't know. <laughs> they had some sort of something. I don't give a that, fuck what it does. That and then I never went back. Never. Never went back. Crazy. Um that and then I did I've said a, ha- a couple of times I fell for the Zune instead of the iPod back in the day. So what's a Zune? Exactly. Zune was Microsoft. Sounds like a rare bird. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow spotted Zune. <laughs> yeah. This fucking, this fucking jerk off at Best Buy on Delaware Ave saw me coming really? a mile Real away. Real slick talker, huh? Oh, yeah. Get you when you're coming in. Psst, where you going, buddy? I had a blue Zune or something. Yeah, it was bad. Crazy, but my phone was fucking shit in the bed, and I was started to transfer. My we we had an old one laying around, so I'm like, I get, I want to get this shit off there. Backed everything up in the cloud, and when you download these fucking apps again from the cloud, you got to you got to use your password. I don't fucking know what my password was for Instagram fucking ten years ago or eight years ago. Uh huh. Fucking jamming me up. Yeah, it's tough. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. There's too many passwords, man. It's tough to keep fucking track. And if you don't sign in, I'm now, I have my computer. You use the same one. That's how that's the fucking hackers I know, but it. they're always like, oh, this one needs a special character. So you put the fucking, you know, you put the exclamation point somewhere else and you forget where you put it. I put it in the beginning, the end, uppercase, lowercase. Yeah, it's bullshit. Implant whatever you want in here, as long as I don't remember any passwords. Oh, man, I, well, they I, my computer has the finger John. Like it just re, like all of my things are. So is my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has uh, beat to it, Patty. Uh, <laughs> before you said anything bad about my wife, <laughs> turn it on my girlfriend. My should have shot. Should have shot under the table. I tried to be a gentleman and raise the gun. <laughs> no, all his gun got caught in the holster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time, Bart. <clears throat> Uh, okay. What were you saying? You were about to tell us your passwords. <laughs> <laughs> Big head 042. Um, no, I have my, uh, it saves it on my computer and I just use my fingerprint and that right. has all my passwords saved. Sure. But if you try to log in on something else, I'm used to, it's better when you have to manually enter them because you remember them. Now I'm fucking wall. I don't know anything. This thing was asking me for like triple verification. They wanted me to remember the password of my girlfriend's old laptop that I guess I hooked my phone up to at one point. Mm-hmm. What are you, you're fucking fact-checking me over here? It's me. Hit me up. <laughs> Come on. It's Uncle Hank. What are we doing here? Yeah. The Beeb's got to deal with this shit? Nah, he's got a guy. His mom. It's not his mom either. It's that it's, Scooter doesn't Braun. His, doesn't his mom work for him? 
I don't think she Scooter? <laughs> yeah. Remember Big you bombed <laughs> Uh, did we talk about that on Patreon? No, yeah, we talked about it on Patreon. For the listener, me and Foley did a show. For, uh, I believe. <laughs> me and Foley did a show in front of Scooter Braun, who's like the head of music. <laughs> He's like CEO of music of entertainment. And Foley bombed so bad in front of him. It was a tough scene. And just kept going. Oh, though. man, you did about 38 minutes of material in a five-minute yeah, set. Yeah, didn't fucking, didn't adjust at all. Just kept marching through like a red, <laughs> like a red coat. <laughs> Buddy, t- hey, step left or right, you know what I mean? That was something hey, else. Hey, somebody where they're from or something, man. <laughs> Dude, do something. Bring me up. I don't know. Fucking, we'll do something together. Timmy was just standing there. I was the- standing in the back like, holy shit. <laughs> Smoking like a Frenchman. <laughs> Well, I'm going to him. I'm going to I'm going to be hearing about this for the next 3 weeks. <laughs> Smoking back there like uh, Jean Gerard. I got something that's real trashy <laughs> too. Before we get into the old Patreon questions. What's uh, that? Is it your John Goodman shirt? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for Roseanne to walk in. <laughs> this guy. <over> here. <laughs> You do have neighbor whose job is to move the narrative vibes. Oh, yeah. We're going to put up a picture of what you're wearing right now, T-Bone. He's in a situation. Yeah, that I'm not allowed to say because I'm a nice guy. Yeah. Check out the Patreon. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You want the inside scoop on this, bozo? Check out the Patreon. Go to Patreon. Find out why Toby's wearing pajamas right now. (laughs) And dress shoes. Got a one bedroom with about 1,100 roommates. Oh, God. (laughs) Well, that gave it away. (laughs) A <laughs> couple of freeloaders, too. <laughs> They're not paying a rent if you catch my drift. Talk about a family plan. Huh? Yikes. He's, he's got the queen working for him. <laughs> <laughs> that always freaked me out in Cyan Clat. When, when Toby's really bugging me, by the way. <laughs> Anybody want to go to bed? <laughs> that always freaked me out when I was a kid, and they would show the queen. And she'd be like a normal Seems bug. Seems like a nice lady. She'd, she'd be a normal bug, and then she'd just have a huge, like, fucking... Clip? Like a rap sandwich. <laughs> oh! A <laughs> family program. Uh, she would have, like, a rap sandwich behind her. Remember? It was like her egg sack or whatever it was. Whatever they called it. Egg salad sandwich. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like that big thing that was always attached to the queen where she pooped out the other bugs. I don't think you know how anything works. Where she pooped you know out the other about? bug. She had her big egg sack where she pooped out the other bug. Yeah, she would like she would be huge. She would look like a normal bug, but then she would just have like a huge ass. <laughs> what? Well, did you guys go to public school? What's going on? A couple of Jesus freaks over here. <laughs> I, I love when we just let you go sometimes, and you get mad nervous. It's me. It's them, right? You guys understand. This is ridiculous. You're crazy. You know what I'm talking about. Sure. I don't know why you're still dis- Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't know. What's what that, do you want from me? What's that called? I don't fucking... I look like Steve Irwin. A like little him. bit. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> This is a silly one, boys and girls. Dude, that was like watching a guy hang themselves and then grab more rope and start tying another noose. <laughs> Need thousand pound test on this guy. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? What happened? Um, as you know, um, I recently upgraded to a king size bed in my apartment. Yes. Put it together. Got the new bed frame. <laughs> Still using a queen size bed frame. Man. <laughs> it's it's like, like an overstuffed it's sandwich. Like, it's like laying on a whopper. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Sleeping in a triple whopper. Holy shit, man! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> This one is cookie. <laughs> Big piece of lettuce for sheets. I was trying to get freaky on that thing. <laughs> Be rolling off the side. Oh, God. All right. So I'm crying. Holy shit. I recently got a king size bed. So 
I had a relatively new fucking Helix mattress. Yes. That's the king. Oh, you had? I no, had. Yes. They, they sent us one when they started advertising. Right. Maybe about what? Let's call it, I don't know, eight months ago, something like that, six, eight months, I don't know, something like that. Something like that. They got it last spring, so not too long ago. So now I just upgraded, got the king size, because I toss and turn. I got the king size. So now I got this mattress, and I got the bed frame. And I'm like a big... Did you do the fries or the onion rings? What did you do <laughs> What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I thought that was going to break the internet. I know. Jesus. <laughs> I thought the, kid, the Whopper thing. I, yeah, yeah, I mean, that was, yeah, sure. Kip, let's talk about Black Buffalo. Did you say Black Buffalo? I said Black Buffalo. I'll tell you right now, if you're over 21 uh -huh. and you're into the snuff and the dip and the this and the The chew, that, the pouches, the long cuts, whatever. Get out of that shit. Gotta get out. There's alternatives now. Uh -huh. And Black Buffalo is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, guys. Uh, Black Buffalo is everything you love about dipping, including the pharmaceutical grade nicotine, just without the actual tobacco leaf or stems. Uh, the dip is literally made from edible green leaves, food-grade ingredients, nice. with same flavors, textures, aroma, pack, and nicotine as traditional tobacco products. No compromises required. There you go. Uh, they also have a subscription option uh, on their core flavors, so you can set it and forget it. Comes to the door, boom, bang, boom. Really? Whenever you need your fix, they got you. You don't got to go down to the thing. and Look, then, I, I don't have my cash you on me. waste the money, get lottery it's, tickets. You know, so, then, then you get in a fucking candy bar and this right and that to the and the other thing. Beautiful. Best thing about it, made in the U.S. of A. What? Born, at, look at this, born in the Midwest, raised in the South. These are some good old boys, uh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Is that yeah, what it says? Yeah, no, I mean, I made that up. But black, <laughs> I'm riffing over here. Black Buffalo proudly manufactures their products in the U.S. of A. There you go. Um, don't take our word for it. They were 2021's best new product winner at the CSP Awards and CS Store Decisions Hot New Products Award winner of 2021. Look at that. I mean, come on. What are we doing here? Sounds like clean living to me. Yeah. Um, guys, it's a new year. It's about to be a new year, and you are one of the 10 million people. If you are one of the 10 million people who are 21 and over dip tobacco, consider turning over a new leaf. See what we did there and switching I like it. Switching to Black Buffalo. It's everything you love about dipping just without the actual tobacco stem or leaf. Head to blackbuffalo.com, use promo code garbage at checkout for 25% off your first order. 25 That's the best offer doing. you'll find anywhere. Use our card our code garbage for 25% off your first order. One last time, promo code garbage, 25% off your first order. I gotta read this warning. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Kibby, how about our good friends over there at Dad Grass, baby? Dad Grass. We'll tell you a little story, all What's right? That? You know, I like to dabble every once in a while. Uh-huh. Except I get all goofy. Yeah. Gets that to grass you. is perfect. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect amount of mellow, perfect amount of chill. Yeah. No paranoia. No nothing like that. Listen, I ain't no spring chicken anymore. Nah, you're an old but man. I, I like to relax just like the next guy. Take the edge off. That grass is legal, organic, organic, smokable hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. It's nice. 100% organic pre-rolled joints are very low in THC, but high in CBD. That's right. So you can enjoy the effects of CBD while keeping your head clear. Uh, Daggrass is also has CBD tinctures made from the same high quality hemp, easy to dose, and the effects come on smooth. Chill without getting stoned. It's like having a glass of wine, not the whole bottle. It's nice. All Daggrass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over and ships right to your door anywhere in the U.S. of A. Right now, Daggrass is offering our listeners what 20% off your first order when you go to daggrass.com slash garbage. Go to daggrass.com slash garbage. 20% off your First order one more time. Write it down. Daggrass.com slash garbage. Link is in the description. Do it. Daggrass. Uh, 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 holy Fuck. shit. <laughs> <laughs> My co host is a wart, everybody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You look like you just got. Dude, I don't even. Uh, that's too much for me to process at the moment, to be honest with you. What in the fuck is going on Toby, with that? Toby, get my hat. No, no, no. <laughs> Toby, don't. He's, he was saying bad things about you when you went to the bathroom. <laughs> my real name is Delmar. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I'm wearing a fucking hat. I'm letting my hair grow in. Oh. Joe Pesci, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, that was... <laughs> Why Joe Pesci? Because your hair was slicked back. You look like you got back from the Lufthansa eyes. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it looked like you did it with shoe polish, to be honest with you. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of mink oil in there. You ever get into trouble with shoe polish oh, when you were a man. kid? I opened oh, my, dad, my dad... I got into that shit. My dad had a green tackle box in the bottom of the closet that I opened up. Ooh, man, I look like a coal miner after that got... I got, yeah. Oh, I got that shit everywhere. I got into the candy dish. Dude...
That stuff doesn't come off. Shit in black for a week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but so now we might, you know, uh, my wife's like, it's a shame to just throw away this mattress. You know, she's a nice lady. And she's sure. like, there's, you know, there's people in need. We're in a position of fort, like we're, we're fortunate. Let's, you know, try to give it to it's a tough times. People out of work, Christmas, the whole thing. So let's see if anybody needs it. You know what I mean? Like someone that's like in a bad situation might need a new bed or, you know, something for their kids or something. So she puts it up on online. Now she's got this like she's doing it with like everything in the apartment. Like she's getting rid of like clothes and stuff. And there's like obviously a lot of people in need, a lot of people out of work. We just, we just made a I told you I cleaned out my closet. We just did a huge bag for Goodwill. Mm -hmm. My old winter coats in there. The listener. <laughs> I'm saying somebody could use it out there. Keeps that's like a that's like a three bedroom house for somebody. Oh man, that jacket. It's huge. That thing stunk to high heavens. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> that was the worst jacket I've ever seen uh, in my life. The meant, whistler. I thought you meant smelled. Yeah. I the, mean, the I mean JP yeah, whistler. it didn't smell like a peach either. Oh, uh, that was the year we were trucking around. I showered maybe once or twice a week. Had that real winter funk on me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Start to like it after a while. It's weird. Man, you're another kind of weird, dude. <laughs> really, truly are. But Continue. I apologize. Now we got all these people. She's giving away the farm. We got all these people coming up. Like, she's getting rid of clothes and dresses and jackets and everything. Because she's, like, on this, like, gift-giving hot. Or, like, you know, like, uh, I'm helping out the community. Sure. Which she is. But it's like, I'm like, lady, just fucking take it all to one place and dump it. You know what I mean? Also, it's like the bed frame was like 80 bucks to begin with. From The river's right there. <laughs> you know, what are we doing? Right we're like, we're up at a bridge. I'll burn it under there. <laughs> It's like it's like a revolving door, people. Nah, I'm here to pick up the flip flops. I'm here to pick up the. I hate flip it. flops. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Big ticket items, huh? Well, then one guy, I had a I had a school bag, uh, JanSport. You what are you one at a time at this? What the? That's what I'm saying. A school bag. I had a school bag that she posted, and it was like ripped. Where's she posting this? There's like a Facebook group Etsy? or something. Nah, there's like a in need Facebook. Pinterest. Group. No, I keep naming things. I'm not quite sure. Sure, you know what they are, and See I'm those? not positive. Yeah. Uber Eats. <laughs> <coughs> um, so some dude just showed up at your house. People do that to case places. The case to joint. See who he's not lives coming there. in. Where'd you meet him? The drop point. <laughs> no, in the hallway. I mean, he's not coming in the apartment. Okay. Uh, but we gave him a school bag. So it's like, oh, here's a school bag. It's like the the thing was. Ripped. So you put on this on this. Form, I'm not doing anything. Let's be. Sure. You put on this form. Hey, if anybody needs a school bag, come and get it. Somebody actually came to get it. The guy needed a school bag. The guy needed a school bag. Here, I found out. It's, he's like, oh, he told my wife, uh, Jansport has an unlimited. If you send back a damaged product, they'll send you a new product. So does Timberland or LL Bean or one, somebody does that. Yeah, a lot or of used to do it. it. I think if you create enough stink, they'll. Sure. Yeah, and you know any customer service agent, like just fucking here. Yeah, it's costing us eight bucks to get you off the phone, bozo. <laughs> Kick fucking rocks. So his whole plan was to take it to try to get a new school bag. Wow, or get it fixed? Wouldn't they repair it? No, nah, they just send you a new one. Uh, I mean, repair it. I don't know. It seems like a lot. <laughs> it's not a transmission. <laughs> just send you a new one. We're waiting on parts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Napa know how? What are we doing? Can't get these left straps anywhere. <laughs> Pay through the nose. Well, that's nice, man. Good for you. Mazel. I was saying, I feel like I, it's trashy. I feel like we're we're I feel like we're doing a fucking garage sale in my apartment. Not not if you're giving it away. Was there any money exchanged? No. She wants to get some for the mattress though, because it is. Ex she wants to get some for the some cash. She put it up for like, hey, you know, uh, two hundred or something. What? Yeah. That's that. You, you didn't pay for that. <laughs> that was given as a promotional gift. You won that on a game show. I had paid for it with my endorsements. Oh, okay, with your hard work. Also, you get you get. 40% of it. Yes. T-Bone, what's his beak? All right. Do you want the mattress? Price of that mattress went up a little bit. No. Okay. Give someone else your fucking fart box. Fair enough. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to be sleeping in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Yeah, is my, is my mattress not good enough for your bed bugs? <laughs> yeah. Fucking sleeping goggles on because of the smoke bombs going off getting... in there. Um. Yeah, but let's get into it. We got some fucking questions. This is a fucking barn burner wacky one, baby. Um, guys, so as you know, when you join a Patreon, we will answer your garbage questions. I told him. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Let him know what's up. Um, this is from Dr. Nutfunk. 
thinks he's an associate of Mr. H. Foley's. Edgar, you have something to say? <laughs> you just seem a little salty about those fries still. <laughs> what fries? I don't know. I, I didn't get either one of the jokes, <laughs> to be honest with you. I didn't get his, and I definitely didn't get your original. I didn't get the source material to begin with. Oh, that was Edgar from um, uh, Men in Black. <laughs> yeah, okay, in the yeah. suit. Get me water. Yeah. <laughs> Toby <Toker> and water. <laughs> That's going to be Toby in a couple Shout out of to the bug man. <laughs> He was wearing like an Egger suit. <laughs> Bunch of bed bugs are going to come in here wearing a Toby suit. <laughs> <laughs> Typing real fast. They got multiple legs. Um, <laughs> I just pulled this out for you. For you kids in the back of the class. <laughs> All right, this one's from Dr. Nut Funk. Love it. Uh, any family members re- refer to themselves as inventors? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, one of my uncles invented a computer keyboard attached to a recliner to use. That's bad. I, that's just, I think that's just a wireless. That's just a, that's just a keyboard and a recliner. That's all that is. <laughs> that's just a guy without a job, man. That's all that is. That's the guy who likes to whack it. Yeah. Ah. That's great. I might. That's a guy sitting down looking around the room. Uh huh. Just yeah. That's, uh, what can I put together here? Uh huh. <laughs> what if the TV tray was in the couch? <laughs> That's actually a really fucking good idea. What's that? Like if you had, you know, on airplanes, you have the the tray that pops up in the That's side. That's a sometimes. horrible idea. But then it's in the what, side. Are you gonna put another couch in front of you? No, you're sitting on the couch, and then on the on the armrest, it opens anything up. Anything built into a couch is trash. Cup trash. holders, anything, fucking uh, anything. In- They're great. They're fantastic, but they're trash. They're this dude. The bottom of that cup holder stays clean for about forty-two minutes, and then after that, there's like dumb stick, stick, dumb. <laughs> what are they? Dumb dumb, dumb sticks pennies in there. And, and pennies dead, that dead are goldfish. Pennies that are welded to the bottom of that thing. <laughs> you can't get them Jones out. Uh, yeah, that, they're disgusting, disgusting, yeah, no. disgusting. I might have a couple of family members, or might know some people that have patents. Really? But not like... You don't come from patent people. Not like good patents, like yeah. little patents. I was the first guy to ever fuck my dog. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me 20 bucks if you fuck a beagle. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hillbillies. <laughs> you don't come from patent people. Somebody does. <laughs> no, you're making this up. Yeah. My... I'm... Uh, my sister-in-law's father was an was an inventor. I know the product. Yes. Can we say it? I believe so. The dildo. <laughs> the jackhammer. <laughs> uh, the Floby. The Floby. Yeah. He yeah. Like, He's connected to Floby money. Yeah. I don't know how much. I mean, I think they sold a couple of them in the 80s. What, you cr- that guy's got to be a billionaire. That's not a true. A billionaire? You're nuts. Uh, no. That's your nuts. Those things went like hot. You went I've around for this, man. I've never seen you one. You went around Have for this. Have you seen one? Yeah. In person? I, yeah. No. There's, no one has, man. There was like an infomercial for a weekend. Only in a museum. <laughs> a museum. <laughs> a museum. People had them, though. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. A lot of people tried to make their own after that. Yeah. Looking up clippers in a vacuum cleaner. Man. <laughs> Try it out on the dog first. <laughs> oh, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Fucking border collie with a jacked up haircut. <laughs> border collie with a mohawks. All right, I'm taking that right now. Yeah, but he was an inventor, and in his like he did something, but then later in his life he was. An That's inventor. an inventor. Yeah, he was like a proper a like inventor. the Flex Seal guys. They're inventors. <laughs> yeah, you know. I think that was just a guy who liked puffing. Ronco, Ron Papil. Ron Papil's a proper inventor. Yeah, fine American as well. Right <laughs> uh, like, yeah, dude. Do you know anybody that has a Ron Papil pasta maker? No, but he sold millions of them. Sure, I'm sure I do know somebody. Yes, I'm sure one of my aunts or somebody has Ron Popeil gear. So, so I'm sure somebody out there has a Floby in their basement or in their attic or crawl space. No, crawl space? Yeah, you don't have a crawl space? We, I don't know. We've gone over this. We definitely do. Yeah. That's where the fucking heebie-jeebies live. <laughs> Daddy Longlegs. Oh, anyway. man. Steer yeah. clear it air. <laughs> That's where bed bugs come to- from. It's Toby's apartment. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but what being, are you googling there, Scratchy? More than two hundred thousand Flobies have been sold. Yeah, that's not that two hundred thousand. That's all they. That was a. I mean that that. But that's from January seventh, nineteen ninety three. 
I think that's when they came. It came out in the early 90s. No, it had to be before that. Get worldwide sales. Gross. You are. <laughs> <laughs> worldwide sales of the Floby. I There's no be. way only 200,000 uh, I don't know if I've actually units actually, removed. I don't know if I've ever actually talked to her about I could be wrong. I mean, that's in the national zeitgeist. That was, uh, you know. I think, but like as a, not a joke, but like as a novelty thing. What about the thigh master? You think a lot of people did, made money off those? Suzanne Summers wet her beak. Cooking. Sure. We had one. We had one. Yeah. Fuck. I was I was doing the Iron Man with that thing. <laughs> Put it in your butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Buns of steel over here. Keep the ass tight at the pool this year. What do you got there, buddy? Uh, uh, <laughs> so far, all, all, the first thing I saw in this article as I'm flipping through is the reaction of the county fair crowd may have been on Hunt's mind, which is like amazing. I don't think this is him. <laughs> I might be making this whole thing up. This isn't the guy. Let me see. <laughs> that's a, that. That's like a college kid. That's not her dad. I might have made this that's whole a dude thing from up. MySpace. Who yeah, he looks about? like Tom. But Brand, oh, Brand Tom. Brandon. <laughs> Dude, by the year 2000, they sold two million of these fucking things. There you go. The more this, the more this is added up. I don't. I think. I, I think this whole thing's fabricated. I never talk. I got to talk to her at Christmas. I got wet my beak on this Floby money. <laughs> oh shit! Can at I... least get my pubes trimmed. <laughs> <laughs> Want to go to the mud room and clean up real quick? <laughs> yeah, this isn't right. Why is there a picture of that guy, a young kid? That's the guy who invented it, Rick E. Hunts. No way. Let me see the picture again. That's him. When? I don't think so. Unless he's a time traveler. Invented in 86. Wow. There you go. Shout out to him. Good for him. Look at that. You learned something new. 150 retail. What is that? There you go. That's billions of dollars. If he sold 2 million, 2 million times 150 is billions of dollars. (laughs) Is it not? It is one. It's billions. No, it's, a billion. It's three. If you were, if it's, if each one sold for a hundred and fifty dollars, mm-hmm. and there is, you sold a million, it would be a hundred fifty million. Yeah, so if it was two million, it'd be three hundred million. Still pretty good. Yeah, packaging alone, research and development, R and D. But with inflation, that's like nine, ten billion. It's true. Is it really? I think so. Yeah. Oh, no, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> um. Wow. What I got to get to the bottom of that. that. That's a home run of a question. That is a home run of can't a believe, question. We can't believe we've never had that one. Beautiful. This one also a real humdinger. Josh, ever fall off a roof? <laughs> <laughs> it says ever fall off a roof? Question mark. Tough look. <laughs> Man, I had a cousin who fell off a roof. It was, yeah. They tell you. Was he okay? I mean, he was hemmed up for a little bit, but... He shouldn't have been poking his nose where it didn't belong. You know what I mean? What was he peeping? What? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> they were drinking. That's what, that's what I thought you meant. He no. <laughs> caught him on the neighbors. No. He shouldn't be on a fucking roof. No. He was drinking, boozing, you know, hanging. I don't know. No, I always put my... That's one good thing. I get that feeling in my belly button and my Peter when, I get, when I'm on a roof. So one good thing about the Bureau of Crazy. They really instilled all that stuff into me. Don't go near anything hot. Get off. Don't go near a roof. You're going to you fall. Didn't. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get this. You're going to go out in the ocean. You're going to get drowned. Da, da, da. Keeps me nice and safe. Kip, let's talk about Roman. Roman. The good people. Mm-hmm. And I mean. Doing the Lord's work over there, good Roman. Good people over there, Roman. They're keeping this whole little little cycle we call life uh-huh. moving and shaking. Yeah. And what I like about them, uh-huh. people over there, Roman. Yeah. Get to talk to them. Yeah. Get to see what you need. Mm-hmm. They're not just throwing fucking this and that at you. No, not they at care. all. They care. Yeah, with Roman, you can get a free online evaluation, ongoing care for erectile dysfunction, all from the comfort and privacy of your, your own home. A U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find a best treatment plan. If medication is appropriate, it ships free to you with two-day shipping. If they're not just signing, anybody can just take a reservation. Two-day, I like that. Two-day, right to the door. Bam, yeah. bam. You got to leak three, you gotta, five you, business days. Yeah, you got to leak in the toilet. You need, you need it plugged up right now. Mm-hmm. For sure. Uh, getting started is simple. Just go to GetRoman.com slash garbage. Complete the online visit. Take care of your AD without ever leaving your house. Connect with a U.S. licensed healthcare professional and take care of it. Go to GetRoman.com slash garbage today. And if you're prescribed, you'll get 15 bucks, 15 clams, 15, 15 greenbacks off your first. No percentage, just straight cash? Straight cash. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, off your first month of ED treatment. Make sure you're ready and have the confidence and control this season 
Roman Reddy. Yeah. Now back to the show. show. If someone sends us a Floby, we will cut my hair with it on the Patreon. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty good. Nice. I know the I know the owner. I can I get my hands on one. Pubes too. <laughs> Keep everything. Oh, uh, God. All right. <clears throat> um, this is from Sweet James. Never had a question read. Had you ever separated two ply toilet paper? No, that that's, shit always drove me crazy. That's crazy. You know, every once in a while, like on Oprah, back this old Oprah, good Oprah, when it was real, it was a little trashy mm-hmm. in the nineties. Yeah, she puts on a good front of being like American. She was doing like, did you ever fuck your cousin's wife? Type oh stuff. yeah, she was fucking. She was a mudslinger. Yeah, dude, a hundred percent. What do you mean? They Great have, lady, though. She's doing all right. Hey, that, she's a billionaire. Yeah. Proper billionaire, right? Yeah, of course. What do you think she's got? I mean, $2 billion? $2 billion. It's pretty $3 billion? Oh, yeah, but what she got? Oops, what she rocking? 2.6. God damn. I was dead on. That's why you handle the books, baby. I know. You? What do I have? Yeah. I can, I can get there. Oh, you want to know how much money I have? I No, you're... I will, I'll say your net worth. What does that mean? I got bills and shit. Yeah, money you have versus money owed on the street. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> you're in a red. If you're throwing France you're in there. You're in the red. Yeah. yeah. I'm upside down in a baguette. <laughs> you kidding me? You want to probably. What, no, okay, let's just say what I got What I got in the kitty right now. <laughs> What's in your accounts? Yeah. Minus any lines of credit. Yeah, 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 forget all that. Just cold hard cash, American greenbacks, T bills. <laughs> what do I got? Um, I know what I have, and I know what you make. Well, no shit, you know what you have. <laughs> I would say, is France paid for? No. The flight's paid for. Okay. The hotel they took three hundred. I would say. You had to pay have for the rubber sheets. What? I had to pay for the rubber sheets. <laughs> I would say you probably have six thousand dollars. Fifty six hundred. <laughs> he blinked. What, were you at the ATM machine with him earlier? <laughs> Peeking over his shoulder. Ah, uh, that's about right. <laughs> Plus, I got a jihad in the Capital One card. Keeping that thing in the garage until we leave. <laughs> Put the snow tires on that bad no boy. One, no one touches that. Yeah. That doesn't leave the apartment until, until we're on our way to the airport. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that. But she used to go back to over. She used to do that stuff. How to like save? You know, Dude. reuse the fucking whatever for the whatever. She dragged some family on there from like the Midwest and we're like, here's the fucking whoever's and their dad. Doesn't let them buy this or doesn't buy that. Did they haven't bought paper towels in three years because they peel them apart and all that stuff? Can you imagine living like that? I can't. I mean, necessity is one thing, but that's not what we're talking about. I'm not talking about a family that has to do it. They do it to like be frugal and save money. Yeah, you know. But like you know, generally everybody's okay. It's mm-hmm. not like they're doing it because they really they have re- to. Yeah, of course. I've yeah. been there. People just get into those zones, like the coupon clippers and the I never this got and that. that. I told you, I, I, I had one girlfriend that her dad on the weekends would go around to, like, different Hallmark stores and CVS stores and buy... Things sh- that were, like, on discount sale or whatever. Did, yeah, it didn't matter. Just whatever time of the year. And he was fucking rich. Yeah. I, I don't have time for that. And yet. I couldn't do one ply. Not now. Never. Oh, uh, no. 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 Sometimes... I would need oven mitts to fucking wipe my ass. Jesus. One ply. I'd, what? Yeah, you've got to, you you got to pull the dump and jump. Get right in the shower. Yeah. One ply. <laughs> Not even roll up the window. That's crazy. One ply. Yeah. Go through that pick in my nose. There was a time in the not so distant past when, you know, funds were quite tight. You were one. You were peeling the ply. No, I wasn't peeling the ply. But you would go. I, hold on. There's no excuse. A single man in living in New York City, man or woman living in New York City, you can steal toilet paper where you don't got to be peeling the ply. I'm not saying I'm not peeling the plies, but I'm saying. So a lot of times, especially in New York, <laughs> stop wiping your ass. <laughs> Every two, three shits. <laughs> yeah, I'll get you on the next one. I'll be back in a couple of <laughs> couple hours. You give it a pass. Um, no, I would. Tell you, hopping right into the shower. I afterwards. don't like that. I did that once. I don't like it. 
He goes, I'm pooping in the shower. I don't, I can't do it. Yeah, you are. Yeah. And then sometimes. You just got to use your foot and get it down the drain real quick. Oh. Sometimes I've had, I've been in the shower or like, and just got out or be in the shower and like, oh, I have to shit. Oh, that's the fucking worst. <laughs> like you mean hell? Feels like you're on a water slide. Oh my God. <laughs> feels like that you're, is, on, you're on shotgun falls, that's, dude. dude. slipping all over the yeah, place. Yeah, that's it for me, man. The moment <laughs> is fast. all or the fucking. Yeah. The toilet paper's all wet. Oh, get the fuck out of here. That is my worst nightmare. Uh-huh. So I always try to dance around a little bit in the morning. Fucking make sure oh, shit, it shakes shit, out. Shake out all the... Before I hop in the yeah, shower. Hit it with some WD-40. Get the rust off. <laughs> Bagging it like a bottle of ketchup. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's tough. So what'd you do? You didn't say. Oh, I would go to the bodega and get the one... Like, that's they... Because they... You can buy the one roll at a bodega. At a bodega in New York, you can buy one anything. They'll sell you one light bulb. They oh, yeah, They'll course. open up the... They don't like the whole, like, hey, don't open up, not for that's individual That's my sale. toilet. I, we prefer those toilet... That's Scott. The yeah, Scott. that stuff stinks. No, it doesn't. You're crazy. It's one ply. Oh, I like it. Oh, no, it stinks. That's got teeth on it for me. Gets a little grip. You start with that quilted shit. That'll give you roids. That stuff. That stuff gets you bad. Steroids. Yeah. <laughs> you have roid rage. Thing will be throbbing down there. Oh, that's the last thing I need is roids. Roids in the gout. Keep those two away from me. I don't like it. Yeah. Um, all right, this one's from our boy Alex Tanello. Have you ever been to a bar on Bar Rescue? <laughs> Before or after? <laughs> Either is a tough look. Because I tell you what, the big guy really cleans the place up nice. Yeah, shout out to Taff. Oh, I used to love that show. Love it. And it's like wildly scripted, the whole stakeout. <laughs> like, the more... <laughs> I used to love. He's saying that, Big John, not me. It's all real to me, baby. I love Taff. Love. Big, big fan. He um, makes you want to eat and drink. The way he talks. I don't think that's him. I d- <laughs> <laughs> but the you way he talks. Fingers! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, buddy, stop rocking back and forth, all right? I'm right here. Tone it down. We're, we're all in the same room. Let's keep it to an eight ball <laughs> episode. <laughs> Quit fucking screaming at me. <laughs> it's only appetizers. <laughs> Hey, buddy, we're at a shot and beer kind of place, all right? The jukebox is playing. Relax. Man, some of those bars. I'm trying to unwind. Some of those bars, and, like, that's that's places like, like, I bet if that was the town bar, that's where you had to go. They had, dude, if they're good, if you go to a restaurant and they're cooking something on a toaster oven <laughs> <laughs> in a hallway, dude, get out of there. <laughs> he would always try to, like, it would be like a shot and beer biker bar place. And he's like, I'm thinking family fun. And it's like, dude. I got two words, pretzel buns. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, they're moving meth out of the back of here. They don't care about the ambiance. Cash is falling out of the drop ceiling. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, dude, what are you doing? Oh, man. I they love always, that show. The love. They bring that in show. some like mixologists from like Fridays. At, yeah, like, it's always like Johnny Cocktails or yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> that What's like it? does yeah. the flare up in it uh-huh. nice. That shit lasts two seconds. Yeah, let me get three Kentucky Manhattan you know, whiskey <laughs> gingers. You're like, what the fuck? I, I knew a guy who was opening up a comedy club, and he goes, everything I need to know about running a business, I saw on Bar Rescue. And then oh. we found out he was half a million dollars in debt one year later. Yeah. <laughs> It's so. But the poppers in that place are. <laughs> the lines were clean. <laughs> the lines were clean. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Screaming at somebody. Yeah. Oh, so funny. That was a great show. Great show. Shout out to the dad. Shout out to him. He's uh, up there with dog for me. Oh, man. When dog dropped when I was in college, that was. That's when shit started. That's when A&E was like, fuck it. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. Yeah. Running around with that bear spray, of that mace or whatever. It's like, dude, if you ran up on me, we'd shoot a fair one real fucking quick, dog. I would fucking, I'd shoot the fade with you. <laughs> fucking see me out. Reality show Royal Rumble, Bar Rescue versus Pawn Stars versus Dog the Bounty Hunter. You can pick whoever else who's coming out on top. Dog, what are you fucking nuts? Dog had, all day. He's got one of his bozo sons with him. Yeah, those those. I'd fucking grab him by the ponytail. Yeah, those kids are looking to kill somebody. What <laughs> yeah. do you mean? I'm surprised they haven't. I'm surprised they haven't got jammed up already. Yeah, they're all wearing tactical gear and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> 
your day off. What are you doing? <laughs> We're in a bulletproof vest to go see his mom and shit. <laughs> He's in a grocery store. He's got his pants tucked into his boots. <laughs> you got to get off the ice, bro. <laughs> oh, I love the dog. Good looking man, too. Also, uh, that, you know. This isn't a topical show, but did you, did you see when he went down there to try to fight? He was like, I'll find Brian Laundry in like two days. He went down there and then like in Miami or wherever. <laughs> he hit a sizzler. Oh, and dude. He, there was a, he was out to brunch every day at like the hot spots. There was like him doing him doing like fucking Bloody Marys and stuff. All he did was go to the parents' house and bang on their front door. Yeah. Where's he at? <laughs> All right. I'm back to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. That guy's all talk. <laughs> Mm, God. If you hear from him, I'm sleeping in the car right across. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the Tahoe. They always have, they always, they did have a nice fleet of rides, though. I got to give them that. They always kept a nice big black Escalade. His wife died, right? Why are you screaming? <laughs> 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm all hopped up on Taffer. <laughs> His wife died, right? What the fuck? He's right there. Jesus Christ, tone it down. What the fuck? I've never heard you see you act like this before. His wife died, right? Look at this guy. That COVID's got you, man. Oh, man. I'm, all, I'm all backwards, dude. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I got microchipped or something. I'm fucking screwball. Jimmy got a bad processor <laughs> in his booster. I'm running on Android. <laughs> Kippy needs an update. You got a kickstand or what's going yeah, I got, on? I got, lock, I got locked down on my operating system. Can't remember to pet. I don't know where I put the exclamation point. Kippy got a Nokia booster. Uh, you pushed it. <sighs> Man. Another home run of a question. <laughs> I don't even know how that started. And to answer, no, never been to a bar, <laughs> bar, bar rescue bar. Um, there was a comedy club that did it in like Arizona or something. Yeah, never been there. Have you? Have you, you be there though? Have you ever eaten something that Guy Fieri has eaten? <laughs> I've eaten at Guy Fieri's restaurant. Out of the trash, but <laughs> <laughs> this is still warm. Out of the trash at his house. <laughs> Um, huge Guy Fieri fan. Love him. Love him to death. Huge diner drivers and dives, obviously. <laughs> Let's do the joke. For the listener, on the road when we're driving somewhere. Going some to a new restaurant. <laughs> hey, <Whatever. laughs> I always go, hey. Hey, I'm Guy Fieri. My co-host is a real <laughs> fan piece of shit. Hey, I'm Guy Fieri. We're riding out to Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> My co-host is a fat tub of shit where he's going to eat his body weight in cheeseburgers. You believe that, fat fuck? <laughs> Dude, we were, I was doing that. We were laughing so hard in the in like Indiana or something that we all, we almost died. I was laughing till I blacked out, and I was just trying to hold the wheel straight. Oh, he boy. opened up a joint here in New York. Uh, right around a corner. Is it still there? It's near, near, near where the action is. I don't know. It's near Broadway, Times Square, all that uh, stuff. I don't know if it's still there. It was called like Ameri Guy Fieri's American something. American Grill or something like that. Yeah. All American Grill or something. All Ate American. there one night. I tell you what, kid knows his way around a fucking burger. Yeah, of course. Um, I Service don't know if, was excellent. I don't know if I've ever eaten anything. I'm sure probably something in Philly he's done. I've eaten, you know, like one of the sandwich like sandwich places or fucking Lorenzo's Pizza or whatever. We ate at a Ramsey. That's a, that is a great question. I love Ramsey. That's a great question. Though. Have you ever celebrity, any celebrity chef places? Is, is, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, uh, Ramsey's like on the fence for me because he's a classically trained chef. Let's be honest here; he knows his way around a fucking egg beater. We were in the fucking lounge of a trop a Tropicana. We they were playing Keno two feet away from us, and people were I smoking think it, inside. I think it was Caesars. No, was it? I don't know. That was a nice restaurant, though. It I was mean, a nice restaurant. Yeah. I mean, it was like, right. <laughs> yeah, it has the biggest chairs I've ever seen ah, for those fat nice. fucking tubs of shit in Atlantic City. Atlantic City, check it out on the special. Yeah. Atlantic special. City. Um, oh, God. Gordon Ramsay, 8 Guy Fieri, 
But then there's like the Wolfgang Puck. That's not celebrity. No, that's a nice yeah. joint. I would argue Ramsey is probably top shelf. I have a I have a Wolfgang Puck pressure cooker in my in my apartment that I'm too scared to throw out. Why? My Think aunt, you're a terrorist or something? Yeah, my aunt wanted it at a casino and like I took one look at it, got it home, like, we're not using this. Oh, you still got that thing floating around? I remember when that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still got that. Didn't her her boat flooded or something, right? Yeah. The, something, right? There was some she, sort of she some had sort a, of she had a boat parked outside of the Borgata and it flooded. I don't that wasn't that though. That was just she that used, was a parking garage, weird she, thing. She used to gamble she she used to go down there a lot. They go down there on the weekends. And um, you know, she's a high roller. So they, you know, they they give you stuff. They were like uh must have been real high roller. <laughs> hey, hey Tuts, hit take this fucking. This was the cover. low end I got this stuff. They she had nice she had nice comforter and like all that it's all that That's kind of not stuff. High end stuff. Whatever they give away to gamblers. I don't know. Well, I mean you said that, comforter and rice cooker so far. <laughs> I mean what Pressure cooker. There's a difference. You can do multiple things in it. Yeah. But like, anyway. Only terrorism. I'm, yeah, I'm too scared <laughs> to use it. I'm not putting it out my... I'm not doing that to my super. End up on a list. <laughs> yeah. He's going to have to report you. <laughs> she got it at the goddamn casino. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh, God. Man. All right. Let's get back on track here with a couple of them. Cues. Please. Uh, this is from Kemper. When was the last time you had to dig through your own trash at the curb? <laughs> because you lost something. something. Yeah. Oh man. I had my mom not too long, a couple of years you ago. You hit that wet coffee grounds. Oh man. <laughs> it's better be something important. It's always that in a banana peel. Oh, nothing skeeves me out like that. <sighs> coffee Fucking grounds in the sucked. filter. Every, there's coffee grounds in every trash can in America right now for some reason. Even if you don't drink coffee, <laughs> there's coffee grounds in there. My mom threw my keys out one time. What the? Fuck? Not too long was ago. She Karen Hill. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we had, Karen. Why? What were you guys? Were you fighting? No, they were like on a newspaper. It was like on like a fucking something, and like you know. Are you drinking? And a friend <laughs> trying to keep. You're not gonna up. drive, Kippy. <laughs> Don't go down there like that, Kippy. Come on, cool off. But first. it was one of those things where I searched the whole house. I'm like, they were here fucking an hour ago. No one's left. What's happening? Oh, uh, don't you love that? Where you know somebody touched it? No, nah, nobody. Oh yeah, it's over there. Fuck it. Yeah. God. I, I'm pretty. I'm still on the record. My stepdad stole a hundred dollar bill that I had one time. <laughs> it was on the kitchen counter, and he took it. Um. All right. Let's get into another one here. We've recently touched on this a little bit, but this is from Johnny Trash. Ever worked with a parent at a business that your family doesn't own? Is a tough one. Say that one more time. Please. Have you ever worked with a parent at a business that your family doesn't own? Like if you and your mom are coworkers, I that's mean, a tough look. You do what you gotta do, but yeah, that's a tough look. Yeah, it's bad. Unless you know you're in like high school and like you work at like where your dad works, like on the loading dock or something. That's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Anytime families are involved, because it's typically like a, it's a dirtbag thing, and I've worked in those companies where it's like they're hiring anyone, they're take you. All you need is like a collared shirt in the interview, and they just like. I worked at this law firm that was like a pump and dump scheme, and it was dirt bags from all over Philly. And like, at one point, I'm sitting there and I'm like, "How does everybody know each other?" Like, "Oh, that's my cousin, that's my aunt, that's her sister, that's her mother-in-law." I'm like, "Oh, this ain't good." <laughs> when there's a 70 year old and a 12 year old working together, that's a tough look. <laughs> You're working with a Wolfle Street Road. <laughs> yeah, Street Road, dude. Oh man, driving into work with your parents—that's yeah, that's <laughs> tough. Picking up your mom for work. <laughs> Bump into her at happy hour. That's bad. Someone else recently talked about it. Did you ever like drop your parents off at work so you could have the car? Oh that's, fuck yeah! yeah that's, what are you nuts? It's tough. I never, Summer times, uh, fucking the nineties. I'll get up and drop Patty off at the fucking at the office. Mm -hmm. Be back around four to get you, honey. No problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, zipping Looking around, around. On a blazer or something. What'd you have? Uh, she we rocked through the nineties. Pretty solid. Uh, Patty rolled in exclusively tight blunts. The new <laughs> <laughs> Cypress Hill um, Nissan Maxima uh, always had the freshest one. Every three, every you know, she leased them so every three years. <laughs> the weekends, those things. That was like a race car when I was mm -hmm. a kid. Those things were cool looking back in the nineties. Little bit. I always had very hey. Russian mafia vibes to me. Hey, keep everybody you on their toes. To play, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Always rocked them. She had a white one that was sick. Right before they changed them over, it was tight. Mm -hmm. Looked like a Lexus. That's what I told people anyway. It's really a You Lexus. know, it's the same bot, same chassis. Yeah, it's always a real dirtbag really? thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, wait. You know, <laughs> Nissan owns Lexus. You know, it's the same line, same tire. Yeah, whatever, dork. <laughs> Kick rocks in your mom's car. I was whipping a 96 Chevy Lumina. Big body. <laughs> that thing was sweet. Paint, fall, paint falling off and all. Um. All right, let's see here. Let's do a couple more, and we got to wrap her up. This one's from Brent Wall. First time, long time, never had a question read. Do any of your condiments come in glass bottles or jars? Because that's classy. That's very classy. I don't think. No. Maybe, a, maybe one special salad dressing that she got on sale or something like that. Salad dressing tends to be glass, I feel. Maybe? No. Not ours. I don't know. There's. I feel like there's always one like Thai chili sauce that's been in the fridge for yes. like 19 there's years. There's some sort of special jam or something. Yeah. A jelly. You know what I started to notice with, with the kinds of salad dressings that my mom was buying for a while? This is recently. That Give me the creamy ranch. That was big in my house. Oh, honey mustard. It was, for, dude, last I summer. that salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're getting to the crux of the weight issue. No, that's what I, that's what I was going to say. You guys had any ketchup for my salad? <laughs> all the salad dressings in my mom's house, whatever brand she has, they all say salad dressing and marinade. Oh, yeah. Big <laughs> that marinade. ain't good, no, man. No, that's a one-stop shop for dirt balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Salad dressing. Salad dressing, marinade, and conditioner. <laughs> I'm telling you, the real the honey mustard blow your hair back. But she would she because she she would soak grilled she would soak chicken in in honey mustard. and We do it on the grill. It comes out awesome. Yeah, fucks but, a grill up though. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. Oh. Uh. Yeah, the grill's dirty after that. Yeah, you gotta that. wear a welder's mask when you're dropping them. <laughs> that'll fucking that'll take the eyebrows off. Um. <laughs> It's leaving, leave, dude. That shit leaves skin on the grill like a motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's such an uncle, uncle move. Like, oh, little flare up. Yeah. Get back, get back. Yeah. What did I tell you? Yeah. Get me a plate. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know what it is about a guy with a grill, but he's never got enough clean <laughs> no, plates. No. I've had to pull that trigger. Tell him how to get a plate, quick. For some reason, you think you can't. I got a plate. I can get a plate. Out I'm there, a, no you, tongs or nothing. Dude. <laughs> flipping them with your hands. I've done that shit. You got a, you got a, you got a four to you trying to, trying to get to the back. Fall. Oh, that heats up real quick on the knuckles. Oh, yeah. Ouch. I thought of it. This happened to me the other night, and I thought I wanted to ask you guys, how do you get a frozen pizza out of the oven? I have a... I've recently... I get into the oven. With it. <laughs> Cook it in the shower with me. Uh, I have a... <laughs> I like to eat it. I, li I like to dine in. Uh, I use like a. I have like a big knife that I'll like from the back and slide it out. Well, here's the thing. Uh, at my house, nothing can go into the oven. If something like that, if I'm like trying to heat up a piece of Ilios, she always demands that it goes on tin foil so it doesn't. The crumbs don't get to the bottom of the pan. Get out of here. And that tin foil, it's like space age. That shit cools off in like 0.2 uh, seconds. I don't understand. You that. can grab that right out of the oven. Yeah, but sometimes it gets stuck on a bottle. You're eating. You're eating some. You're chewing some metal at the end of the day. Oh, you have to negotiate. Yeah. You do have to negotiate with the corners, especially in Elios. Spray with it, a little Pam is what you should do. Oh, look at you. But but, the, but if you use tin foil, you're getting a soggy bottom pizza. Not super no, crisp. it's not true. It's not as crisp as if it's right on a grate. Oh, Everybody God. says right on the grate. You know what you should do if you weren't a fucking bozo? You put... Stop eating pizza? <laughs> stop eating Elio's at 45 <laughs> when, you're, when you're 400 pounds. <laughs> Marinating in honey mustard. Yeah. Um, you take... Uh, uh, the tin foil goes on the bottom of the bottom of the oven. I know. That always sits there, though. That's a toaster oven. Because that, that's because you come from a toaster oven family. We never did that, though. Oh, really? No. Oh, my friend's parents' houses that had toaster ovens, you wouldn't Wrapped know. Up, yeah. It was like you needed fucking an archaeologist to fucking figure out the layers. It's like, yo, lady, clean this out before I put my fucking bagel bite in there, will you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I might as well be at the 7-Eleven in fucking the airport. Ridiculous! Like just, I didn't know where you were gonna go with that. <laughs> the airport wasn't your first choice, <laughs> but it was the right choice. Yeah, it was very funny. Very. Funny. Um, uh, hang on a second. Okay, were you a Pam family growing up? Because we weren't. 
That shit didn't come into our house until a couple years ago. No, I would say maybe... That was rich people shit. Maybe high school, there was be a can floating around. I wasn't allowed to touch it. It was like that. No one... No one... That was like... I never... I never touched that. And then once I figured out what it was, I was like, Banksy. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Every pan was getting it. Oh, uh, dude. You cooking egg? Ta- you- I was putting... I was putting it on top of toast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell the shower. Yeah, dabble, do you? When it comes to Pam, I, t- I used to overuse the shit out of that when we started having it, just to watch the egg slide around. Oh, yeah. oh man, so you need have to clean it. You just put it right back in the fucking cabinet. I know that's great. Um, I love having a nice egg, a nice little little pan making a single uh, over easy egg, get a little flip. Yeah, um, simplicity. You know what? I had down the shore, which I don't know where they came. I think it was down the shore. They had the circle Johns with the little handle that makes the perfect circle fried egg. Yeah, you're in a McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. And you just if you, if you spray the inside of that with Pam, fucking crack the egg, cooks it right in there, take it out, flip it over, right on a baggie. Yeah, they started to. I think McDonald's is starting to become a little more honest about that. That they use them, uh, and they're becoming a little more mainstream. People are using them. What? Those little circle things. That's what McDonald's does. What do you mean the little circle things? That's what you're talking about, right? The little circle that with the perfect egg cooks in the middle of it. Yeah. It's like a little it's like a cookie cutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. what McDonald's uses. Okay. They're starting to become popular now with home use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I feel like McDonald's is pushing out more that like as I've seen com- McDonald's commercials where they show them with them cracking the egg in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well that was it was never real egg before. They're trying to get on the real egg. They're oh, trying really? to push it. They're definitely real, egg. real eggs now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I haven't had it in a long time. Me neither. <laughs> Um, you know what? And then we, we got to get out of here, I believe, right, T Bone? Yeah. Um, well, we used to use it just when we were talking about marinating the chicken. Um, was really trashy. I, we might have talked about this Italian dressing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we would. Do, Are you kidding me? What they would do my. Well, we had. There do, was five things you were having for dinner. Montreal per, chicken. Per oh. <laughs> Montreal chicken. T Bone, hang on. A second. <laughs> Throw it into neutral, baby. Montreal chicken was the first meal I had where I was like, what the fuck is this? Dude, and blew my fucking My mom back. would be like, Jay, who's going to make the Montreal chicken for we you? We used that shit on fucking everything when we yeah. discovered it. Talk about the perfect combination of spices. I felt like an international traveler. Montreal, that's in Canada. But I give my dad credit. My dad's watching this right now. He brought Montreal steak seasoning into our house for the first time. We used that every fucking meal for like two years straight. Mm-hmm. Steaks, chops, mix some in, mix some in the burger. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, that stuff was tight. You know what we had? This is really trash with the as seen on TV Ron Popeil thing. It was like a Eat cat- a chia pet. <laughs> it was like a bowl of Montreal season on there. It was like a casserole dish, clear plastic, whatever you know, like Tupperware type thing. Had a lid with like a valve on it, and you would put the chicken in there with the uh, Italian dressing, and then like a hose at the top, and it would vacuum. It would pull all the air out. It would go yeah. and pull, suck the air out. So like it was created like a vacuum. So the idea was the Italian dressing got like infused in the chicken. It never worked. It was. Dude, that's the trash. It sounded thing. like an air compressor. It sounded like you were blowing up your tires. Was in the it kitchen. only for chicken and Italian dressing? No, but that, I mean, that's all we did. You could use something. <laughs> yeah, that and, and inflating air mattresses. Yeah. Yeah. It was a tough look. It was bad. Man. It was one of those things where, like, they were like, oh, check this out. And you're like, this ain't going to work. I do. I'll be honest with you. We thought that was good. When we, me, I remember me and my brother, like, you know, when we started to, like, you know, like to eat, like, you know, we got in, like, Middle school and high school and stuff like oh, that. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm saying it was good. I'm saying the product. It was like, hey, check this out. Like, there's no way this thing's gonna fucking work. Yeah, who'd you use? I, I we, we talked about this lightly about the Italian dressing that has the glass bottle. Of Newman's the, the white top. No, not Newman's. That was all. You Newman's. mix it Ken's. yourself. No, oh, mix. Don't oh, fucking. Uh, we mix went it over yourself. this. Don't talk to me about Ken's. Yeah, the packet. Okay. Can't think of who it is. We used to have it in its own in a how. In a bottle, you would make it, I guess. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get there with you. Try salad dressing. It would be in, like, a vase-type thing with, like, a white lid with it clicks on. Oh, my God. I would never. It wasn't 4C, but it was somebody. I know we've mentioned it on the podcast. Real trash shit. Uh, Good seasonings, I think. Uh, I mean, that was 
That I barely remember. I was like six when that was happening. Yeah, shit was all right. That and a little crystal light. Back when the living was easy, oh, baby. On a nice summer night. Folks, that's where we're going to leave you this week. <laughs> Out on the porch anytime you want to stay. <laughs> Fireworks show starts in an hour. <laughs> Just a little slice of Americana. Yeah. Um, Gang, we fucking love you. Yeah. Check out the special. Share with a friend. Post it fucking everywhere. Thank you so much. The support has been so fucking awesome so far. I mean, everybody DMs. Hitting us. It's so good. Can't it's thank so you cool. enough. Yeah, really. Keep thank sharing you so much. It. New tour coming 2022. We're going everywhere, baby. Everywhere. We're going to be in fucking Denver, Salt Lake, Phoenix. Tampa. Detroit, Tampa, Orlando. Detroit, Atlanta, baby. Buffalo, Pittsburgh, everywhere. Going back to Chicago. Chicago, Damn. Zanies, Roseman, Old Town. Rosemont, see what's going on up there. Let's do see it. See the Portillos are up there. T Bone, great job on the special, buddy. Great job, pal. You guys too. You guys fucking killed it, man. Th- thanks, fucking bro. love you. All right. Peace.